Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Wednesday, November 1st, 10, 16 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017, giving you a seismic update on Iceland. You're looking at all the seismic activity, 2.5 or greater for the last week, watching quakes pop off in Indonesia, New Caledonia, the Fiji Islands. The headlines across uh, volcano news in the last few days is Iceland. In fact, Newsweek... Uh, has got this headline out, Bartabunga Volcano Ready to Erupt. So let's take you up here to the top. Okay, Iceland's enormous Bartabunga Volcano Ready to Erupt is four earthquakes strike in just two hours. Another headline coming out of Fox News, Iceland's biggest volcano could erupt. Soon, wreaking mass chaos on travelers. The sun ready to blow. Iceland's biggest volcano ready to erupt any minute, risking ash cloud that could collapse. Flight chaos across Europe. Experts have warned that huge eruption could be imminent after the vast Bartabunga volcano was rocked by four massive earthquakes last week. Iceland's biggest volcano could be preparing to erupt and could blast a monster ash cloud across Europe, experts have warned. The 6,591-foot-tall Bartabunga volcano was rocked by four huge earthquakes last week, indicating that a massive eruption might be imminent. Folks, let's take a look. The Iceland is up here, just east of Greenland and south. It's on a mid-ocean ridge. It's on the mid-Atlantic ridge, to be specific. Here's the mid-Atlantic ridge. Here's Iceland. There have been no quakes today, 2.5 or greater, but if we go to 7 days magnitude 2.5, you can see two quakes at Bartabunga here. And I'll go over the geology, a 4.6 and a 4.6. So Iceland is split by the mid-ocean ridge of the Atlantic, and there's another rift here that continues a little bit to the east. So here's the mid-Atlantic ridge, and the volcanism happens on this rift zone where the spreading, where the Eurasian plate is spreading away from the North American plate, exposing the deep mantle, which we call the mid-Atlantic ridge. And typically basaltic lavas come up from these. Now here's a better picture, the geologic map and the types of basaltic lavas. You have a tholeitic basalt, an alkalitic basalt, a transitional alkalitic basalt. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine earthquakes, uh, nine volcanoes, seven on the main island. And this is Bartabunga right here, which is under an ice sheet. So, Bartabunga is a stratovolcano located under Vantutu, Iceland's most extensive glacier. The second highest mountain in Iceland at 6,591 feet above sea level. Bartabunga is also part of a volcanic system that is approximately 200 kilometers long that we just looked at that splits the island at the mid-ocean ridge. One of the few islands in the mid-ocean ridge, except for the Azores where Atlantis sank, Bartabunga is a subglacial stratovolcano located under the cap of Vantajulkul Glacier in the Vantajulkul National Park in Iceland. Now let's go over the eruptions of a notable activity. Now first of all, this, plain, this volcano has a history of uh, sending smoke into the stratosphere. And it has a history of doing it at 6600 BC. So if we go to the GISP-2 data, at 6600 BC is the 8200-year cooling event. High cosmic ray flux in blue. So as cosmic rays increase, boom! Bartabunga blue. 870. 870. So, as high cosmic ray flux increased in 870, boom! Bartabunga blew during the Mondor... Uh, oh, 870 is back here, folks. Let's go up here. So, 870 was the European Dark Age. So, during this grand solar minimum, it blew. 
And then in 1477, the largest known Icelandic eruption in 1477. Well, that happens right here. 1477, high cosmic ray flux during the Little Ice Age. Boom, Bartabunga made it colder. So Bartabunga makes this colder right here. And 1701 to 1864. That's the Maunder Minimum all the way through the Dalton minimum into the Glassberg minimum, all the minimums. And now in the modern minimum, it's re-erupting. That's the history of Bartabunga. I'll leave you links to this site here, the whole country earthquakes during the last 48 hours from the Iceland Met Office. It's live. These are all the earthquakes. There has been no uptick. I don't know what they're talking about. You can watch this. There are no rumbles above 2.5 magnitude here, and this is live. This is the last two days. Now, there have been quite a few, and Bartabunga is right here. Only a few earthquakes. I'd be more worried about this volcano, <laughs> which uh, is called Askja. So right now, according to their own site, Askja is more active than Bartabunga, which is right here. So Askja, I would be worried about more than Bartabunga currently, right this moment. And I'll leave you links to this. So this is how you can follow Iceland. It's pretty cool. It has a really cool small chart right next to here. It updates you for the last two days. And these headlines are nonsense. Iceland's enormous Bartabunga is not ready to erupt. Shit, I would tell you. And we can come and watch it right here because there's typically warning. There'll be uptick up into the four range. It'll come up into the five range. It'll build, and then it'll start erupting at about 5.5 seismicity. It did it before in 2014. So it's a heads up. We'll be watching this for an eruption. Right now, there is no imminent eruption. There's more seismic activity up to the north here on Askja than there is in Bartabunga. So that's a heads up. Heads up on Iceland geology and Iceland seismicity and these nonsense headlines. Iceland's enormous Bartabunga volcano is not ready to erupt, as we just saw. Be safe, everyone.